As you might know, Xenia is the best Xbox 360 emulator by far, and it works great, don't get me wrong, but only performance-wise. Xenia lacks something big, and that's a GUI, meaning it doesn't have a decent user interface, where you can edit per game settings because some games need certain settings in order to run properly, and Xenia does not have that option. But in this tutorial, I'll show you a semi-workaround for this problem. First, head on to this GitHub page, and then right below the the title where do I download Xenia you have two options you can either download Xenia's master version or Xenia Canary. Xenia Canary is a fork of Xenia and it has support for game patches unlike Xenia master build. These community made patches affect specific games by doing things such as increasing the frame limit or fixing graphical issues or sometimes acting as cheats. Simply put patches are a great way to enhance enhance your Xbox 360 games on this emulator. And this is the main reason I usually use the Canary build. The master build, on the other hand, is more stable. The patch installation is explained after the emulator's setup tutorial. For downloading Xbox 360 ROMs, ROMSFUN is a great website. Keep in mind, I do not condone piracy. After you downloaded your Xenia emulator, extract it and do not delete the zip file. Normally, Xenia makes its config file in the documents folder but since we need a specific config for each game we're gonna make Xenia portable to do that just create a text file named portable now your Xenia's config file will be made next to the original executable file in order for the config to be made just open Xenia once now in order to make each game's config file specific for that game we're gonna create several copies of this Xenia as you can see I have four Xbox 360 60 games in my roster so I will make three other copies of my Xenia. Now we just want to change each folder's name to one of the games. In this tutorial I want to play X-Men Destinies. First thing you're gonna need to do after you have renamed the emulator's folder is to change your game's config. My preferred software for opening the config file is Notepad++. First time you open the config file you might freak out but don't be scared. We only need to to uh, know two or three options. Every game and every system might have its unique settings. You can find these settings by searching on YouTube or Google. I myself experienced a lot of screen tearing, even though I turned off the VSync, but then I found out that the reason for my screen tearing was this option, so I turned it off. The VSync should be turned on most of the time. It might lower your frame rate a little bit, but it's worth the tearing. Under the the GPU section we have an important setting and it's called draw resolution scale for both Y and X axis. Basically it's the same as resolution scaling in RPCS3 but it only works with integers. The normal resolution is 720 by 1280 but if you set both values to 2 it doubles the resolution but be aware that as much as it's a great option for upscaling your game it needs a more powerful system. I personally don't recommend and bumping up these numbers but if you have a super powerful system you can do that and one other thing bear in mind that Xenia uses DirectX 12 as the renderer Vulkan is available for the master build but it's not a great option. What I mean by that is do not change the renderer's settings. Now for the patches. The patch installation is really simple. First, you want to go to Xenia Canary Game Patches GitHub page to download the patches. All the links are mentioned in the description. After your download is finished, just copy the downloaded patches folder over your Xenia Canary directory. Then head into patches folder that you just copied and search for your game. If there is a patch for your game, you can open the patch file with a text editor. Now you can toggle individual patches by setting the is enabled line to true. After you enable the patches, just save your file and then go back to the config file and be sure that the apply patch setting is enabled. Now that you're done with your config file, go ahead and save it. You're already done. Done, you can open Xenia and run your game by opening its ISO or XEX file. But I personally recommend also creating a shortcut. In order to create a direct shortcut, just right click on Xenia and select create 
shortcut. Now rename your shortcut to your game. Right click on it and select properties. Paste the direction of your game's ISO file after the original directory of Xenia. Make sure that two directions are separated by commas. After the second direction, just type two dashes full screen. You can also put configurations here like setting vsync to false and other settings, but I don't recommend doing that. After you're done, just save the settings and now you have a shortcut that can directly open your game. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like these kinds of content, make sure to subscribe and watch my other videos.